Oh, man. I haven't really spoken much about this virus thing. Not really. Uh, because information's out there, and you're already being, like, uh, just inundated with this uh, just excessive coverage of it, which I don't know that it's excessive. It's pretty important. And the, the coverage should be there. The information should be there um, for those that want to refer to it, you know. But one thing that I'm not seeing is kind of a bit of an explanation as to why and how this virus um, chooses, for lack of a better word at this moment, how, how uh, seriously or to what extent it will affect who. You know, initially people figured that if you were not elderly or infirm or with some other pre-existing condition that places you in a more precarious position for any kind of, you know, virus or illness or attack on your system or your immune system, that you would be okay. You know, it's basically people were thinking that it's, uh, it's mostly going to affect older people and people who are compromised, as they've been saying, and that younger, healthier people really don't have a whole lot to fear from it other than the fear that they may transmit it and be responsible for uh, the debilitation and, and possible um, extinction of others, of another person. But that is turning out to be untrue and there's very common uh, and uh, easy to understand comprehend explanation for why and what it comes down to is it's all about receptors like everything else it's all about receptors this is a horrible event we're going through but it's it's a really good example of um, the genetic lottery and disposition of receptors that various people individually possess. Uh, how we differ from one another in that regard. You know, um, now certainly if you have a pre existing condition, it's going to place you in more in harm's way for something like this, then that, that goes without saying. You know, if you already have trouble breathing or you already have um, a weak immune system or any of this kind of stuff, certainly that that's going to exacerbate any kind of illness or, or viral attack on your body. The flu, a cold, anything is going to be worse for you than if you did not already possess this pre-existing uh, compromising condition, right? That's common sense. But this virus now, we're getting reports that there are people that are dying that are young and healthy. I actually made a video speaking about uh, a young fellow in, in New Jersey that recently passed away, and it came on very, very quickly. Uh, his name was Ben Luterer, and uh, Mr. Luterer was only 30 years old. He was a special ed teacher a uh, former baseball player, and he was now he was a special ed teacher and coach of the varsity baseball team. Um, very healthy guy, no pre existing conditions, not a sickly guy at all by any means, not a weak guy. And more importantly, he was actually uh, a good guy. I mean, as you would expect, he, he taught special ed. Uh, a good guy, loved by the community, beloved by his students and the school system. Um, so it was a huge loss. You know, he's, he's losing good people here. Uh, he left his, um, his wife survives him, and uh, her name was um, Barbie Luterer? Not Barbie. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Forgive me, Mrs. Luterer. Um, I did have all this information at my fingertips when I made the video the other day, but I just hadn't posted it. So I, don't, I, I see enough of it being posted. 
I don't want to be jumping on the bandwagon in that regard. But because this is a different, kind of a different perspective, you know, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and put this up. So the point here is it's all about, it's the genetic lottery. It's all about receptors. It's all about receptors. I know the little busters and haters, no matter what, in the face of anything, they're going to deny science. And they're the first people to quote science to you, but, uh, or throw science up. But yet, then, then they, they, they tailor it to suit their mood or their disposition or their politic, right? Or their paradigm. Um, you know how it goes. You can't be that big and you must be on a ton of gear or I can't accept that you're not. Or even when I'm not on anything like right now. Um, of course, it's still working its way out of my body. I've only been, it's just been since this thing's been going on. Um, ceased everything so it's been three weeks now but that's you know it's still trickling out of me but because i prefer short esters uh, and i just run a very low base of uh, a longer slower ester i'm pretty much trickling off you know it's not really going to affect my size a whole lot and that's a whole other video for whole lots of reasons why that is so but um, <clears throat> it's all about receptors. And just like these little busters, they look at somebody like me or, or anybody else that's uh, achieved something that they're envious of, but they don't want to admit that. Um, they're going to try to uh, diminish to equalize. And, and they say, well, it's got to be, you take, he's got more gear, or he's on this, or he's on that, or he must be taking tons of this, there's no way. When the reality is it's all about receptors. You know, so no matter how much those poor bastards try to step up and, and take more and take more and take more, that's why they end up screwing themselves up, but they don't get big. They don't really get there because you can't, you can't change that. It's, it's genetics. It's, it's how you're made. You can't alter that right now in this day and age. You either have the receptors or you don't have the receptors, and that's with everything. It's with everything, you know? I've explained it before with the analogy that if you have a room and you have so many outlets that you could plug a lamp into and there's nothing else you can do, you can't have an extension cord, you can't modify anything, you can't do, right? It's just straight up what you got is what you got. If you only have so many outlets, if you have five outlets, six outlets in the, in the room, you can put five or six lights and plug them into those outlets. <clears throat> now, if that's still not bright enough for you and you insist that you want more light, you can keep bringing in more lamps, but there's nowhere to plug them into. Do you understand? So you can fill the whole room up with lamps, and that's what they essentially do. They keep pushing more lamps in this room, but there's nowhere to plug them into. There's no receptors available for these things to bind to, for the molecule to bind to and, and create a reaction. So the room doesn't get any brighter. you got five or six outlets. You can plug in five or six lamps, and once you've plugged them all in, that's it. That's it. Doesn't matter how many more lamps you bring in the room, you're not going to get any brighter in there. And that's that's basically how receptors work, basically, pretty much. You know, that's why you can be out in, in a in a field, you know, in the springtime, and you feel perfectly fine, but the person next to you, they're having all kind of uh, allergic reactions to hay fever and pollen and such. You're both breathing the same air, you're both in the same atmosphere and venue, but one's affected and one is not because one doesn't possess those receptors. That's what an allergy is. There's no, the receptors are not there plentiful enough. If they are, if they are, they're not plentiful enough for enough of these molecules to plug into and bind to, to be able to stimulate the reaction, the symptom, the effect. And that's what this thing is. This thing is not alive. Um, this virus, this thing is a protein, which protein molecules are very fragile. However, it's surrounded by a fat lipid, and that's what protects it. And it's basically, it's inert until it can get into a host cell, and then it carries its, its RNA, it's a protein. So it, it carries a program, and it instructs that cell, once it invades it, it instructs that cell to begin replicating copies of this virus at a high rate 
That's how it works. That's why antibiotics can't do anything for it except for uh, address symptoms. It's not going to, you're not going to kill the virus with an antibiotic. Um, so that's, that's what you're dealing with. And the reason some people get deathly ill and some people don't get as sick, you know, sure, it's all about how strong your immune system is, but even more than that, it's about receptors. But people don't understand all that. You know, medical professionals understand it. They'll tell you that, 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 that it's the truth. It's all about receptors. If you don't have the receptors for it, there's no place for this thing to plug into, um, then you're not going to experience a whole lot of symptom from it. It can't generate a whole lot of effect because it just can't take hold. But if you have enough of these receptors, and the more you have, um, the the more the the more effect the virus is going to have on you. You know, so this poor guy, Mr. Luterer, he uh, it came on like within a matter of days, he went from no symptoms to being deceased. It's passing away within a matter of days. Thirty years old, athlete. And uh, initially, the first night, he couldn't breathe. He was otherwise feeling okay. He couldn't breathe, though. Came on hard at nighttime. Wife took him to the hospital, ER. She had to wait outside because she wasn't allowed inside, right? Right now. They're trying to contain this thing. Well, they, he tested for it, and uh, they went ahead and, and uh, by the way, she was already found to have the virus herself. She was tested either then or later date afterwards, and she had it herself, but she didn't even realize it. She had very few symptoms, very small. They lived together in the same house, married, around each other most of the time, work in the same school system, go to school in the morning together. And she had very, very mild. You know, if she hadn't been tested, she wouldn't even know she really had it. Whereas he, it came on hard, it came on fast. They treated him in the hospital with, I think that they hydrated him or gave him electrolytes or whatever have you, and uh, oxygen, and he responded so well to that that they gave him some medications, prescribed some medications, and sent him home. He started feeling better over the next couple days, like two days he started feeling better. He even got up, and he was able to have meals with the family. He was feeling better. Um, that night, he went to bed, and they were, he was isolated. I guess he was sleeping on the couch or wherever he was sleeping. And uh, his wife, um, Brandy, I think her name is Miss, Mrs. Brandy Luterer, she got up in the morning, uh, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., went to check on him, and he was deceased. She found him deceased. So this, this thing, it um, doesn't discriminate um, age or any other thing. It just is looking for these molecules, this, this protein is looking for a receptor to bind with. So that's what it's all about. It's all about receptors. It's genetic lottery. And where you fall is where you fall, and there's no way to really predict that. You know. And I hadn't seen anybody explain that, so I thought that I would. And by the way, you know, the washing your hands thing, yeah. Soap and water is enough to take care of this thing because, you know, protein is a very fragile molecule. The uh, hotter the water, the better, because the hot water is going to melt the fat lipid and expose the fragile protein. And you want to get a really good lather, of course. Um, vinegar, a lot of people use vinegar as a disinfectant or has no effect on it, so don't worry about using vinegar. Alcohol is your number one uh, combatant against this thing. Um... As far as contact, if you can't find alcohol now or you can't find any anything like this, disinfectants and stuff, then think out of the box. Look for ingredients on labels like window cleaner, Windex. Windex is supposedly uh, almost completely alcohol and ammonia. So read the labels and you still may be able to find available Something that'll suit suit the purpose that'll 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 do the job. Well, that's all I got. Stay safe, stay healthy. <clears throat> I hope that ain't it. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, you know, God forbid, if if you should contract this thing or come in contact with this thing, 
just let's hope and pray that uh, you lack the receptors for it to really take hold.